Welcome, everyone. This is the Jenkins UX Special Interest Group. It's the 29th of March, 2023. Thanks for being here. Topics that I had on the list, I'm going to move this one down because I don't see Christina here. So what's happened recently in UI improvements? What's coming in UI improvements? Work in progress? Uh, user feedback? I think this one... I don't see any new topics for it. I'd propose to leave it here unless the rest of you say, hey, we're done with this. Any other topics that should be added to the agenda? Uh, Tim, are these are any of these where you would like to be the voice to, to talk to a specific topic or a specific item? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Okay, then then I'd say let's go ahead with Jan, you have the floor. Do you want to share a screen? Do you want to just talk? What would how would you like sure. to, yeah, to um, introduce? I'll share my screen if that's right. Great. Yes. I'm gonna stop okay. sharing. Okay, go Thank ahead. You. Awesome. All right. Um, so just go over some of the improvements that, that have come recently um to Jenkins. Um, so I guess I'll start from the dashboard. Um one of the uh, items on the thread that was posted, I think, last UX meeting, um, lots of good suggestions, so I'll definitely take them on board. Um, one of them was kind of replacing the icon legend. Uh, rather than having a full page, it's quite heavy. We have a lightweight modal. Um, it's also quite a nice kind of pattern that can be reused across Jenkins. Um, kind of easily dismissible, very fast to interact with. Um, and it kind of gets out of your way when you don't need it, which is quite nice. Um, I'm working on a PR at the moment, which I think I may have demonstrated many moons ago, um, which will kind of redo the uh, confirmation dialogues. So if you hit delete build, you'll get a more visual pop-up for that. Um, or on the plugin screen, when you uninstall a plugin, sometimes there's warnings because it might have kind of consequences or you might impact other plugins. Um, we can now display that in a more visual way that's kind of more apparent to the user kind of what they're doing, which is quite nice. Um, next up, very recently, was kind of renaming some of the settings. Kind of just a simplification of, of the naming scheme. Um, so I believe previously it was like configure system, uh, manage notes and clouds, just dropped the kind of starting word kind of simpler. Um, there's an update for the credentials plugin. I don't believe it's been merged yet, but hopefully soon, uh, which will just update the icons as well as adopt the kind of simplified naming scheme. And then lastly, on the managed side, just got a refreshed about Jenkins, just, just a bit cleaner. Uh, it solves some of the issues we had with the sidebar previously, uh, where like the version wasn't easily copyable. Um, and we now have a little get involved link to kind of push people in the direction of getting involved, which is nice. Um, and that's that's it from what I can remember about what's, what's happened recently. I'll hand so it to you, Mark. Could you take it? Well, could you keep, continue sharing? Could you take it back one page? I think there was one point that it was. Yeah, oh no, maybe this. Okay, I'm I'm not sure this was. I've it's now slipped my mind. Sorry. That's <laughs> there was there was a capability you added that looked especially interesting to me. Go back one more page, John. Yep. Oh, right, right. It was the pop-up dialogue. Okay, you described something I do frequently, which is I clean things up by deleting builds. And mm -hmm. and you were saying that in whereas Icon Legend now has has a nice modal that appears in page because when I delete yeah. a build today, I get a big, ugly browser driven pop up. You're going to mm -hmm. delete something. Okay. Your intention is to switch that as well, that eventually that will become a modal that appears in page instead of being a separate window generated by the browser. Yeah. Um, I believe there's some inconsistencies as well. Um, depending on the type of item you're deleting, you might get a full page delete. Sometimes you might get a little alert. Yeah. So it's kind of just like that more consistent as well. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. 
it's very yeah. inconsistent at the moment. So most mostly you get a new page, but not always. Sometimes it's a browser alert. Yeah. Okay. So so if you go into Hello World, that's there. Oh, you you probably don't have. I could I could show it because the one I mm -hmm. usually do is not delete pipeline. I'm deleting an individual build or an, mm -hmm. an individual branch in a in a multi branch job that's now mm -hmm. done. And when I do that, I get this pop up that is a is a browser alert, and it's really a browser alert. Yeah. Oh, you, okay. You get interesting. Okay, that's much it's, better looking than the one I get. It's different. It's it's depending on whether it's sort of freestyle or pipeline and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's all it's all implemented differently. Okay, good. All right. So this this is all like, that experience is already better than the than the experience I've been seeing. I think good. if the, if you the, if you click the reload configuration from the manage page, I think that's a browser one. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll stop sharing. Any questions for Jan? Others who've got topics they wanted to raise to, to Jan on what he just shared with us. Okay, I'm going to pick up sharing and let's look at, at the next stop on the agenda. So on the what's coming topic, the simplified setting names is actually done now, right? You've you've that's implemented. You you showed that to us. Mm -hmm. There is um, there's another PR at the moment which is kind of under discussion um, about renaming Manage Jenkins the actual page just to be settings. Um, but we'll see where that goes. Good, very good. Any others that you'd like like a discussion on? So the card layout, if I remember correctly, has not been merged yet, but feature flags has been merged, right? This was the the proposal from Vadek Falonier that, and I think I've seen that it had merged, if I remember correctly. It is, yeah, but there's no feature flags at the moment. Okay, so none implemented currently. Great. All right. Any any other topics that you wanted to discuss or bring up? There is um, relating to the drop downs. I'm currently working on updating the what they called hetero lists. And kind of repeatable element list um, to use the new drop down. Um, That's but this one here, the drop down. It'll be a separate use... PR to that. Yeah. Oh, it'll be separate. Okay. Yeah, but it'll, it'll look identical. Um, it'll just kind of go through more of the system. Thank you. Any other questions that, that others want to ask? So this was, you said it was a um, improved consistency of dropdowns? Yes. Yeah, for the um, kind of repeatable list element. Great. All right. Anything else there? And since Christina's not here, I'm going to defer this one to the to, to later, it will have to happen in another meeting. Any other topics on the work in progress? Okay, then how about on, in terms of the user feedback, we had this post on the community that had given given some good feedback. And I think there are a number of things that people have been taking action on trying to, hey, how do we do this? How do we improve it? Any further comments that want to be shared there? Okay. All right. I'm, I'm not sure what other topics 
should be on our list today. Do any others any others have agenda topics that need to go on the meeting agenda for today? Uh, I have some questions. Okay. Uh, so I'm a new contributor and I would really like to contribute to the UI UX part of Jenkins. And I would really appreciate some guidance on where should I start. It all seems very overwhelming. So one of the one of the thoughts that I had earlier today, Sayantan, was consider reviewing and testing existing pull requests, uh, and then use that review and test to familiarize yourself with the development techniques. So Jan's Jan's pull requests, or Tim's pull requests, or Uli's, or or others tend to highlight the techniques that are used and then feedback on them. Oh, hey, I tested this and it behaved this way is, is appreciated and will also let you see, oh, this is how they use CSS in this context. This is how they use Jelly in this other context. So for me, review and test is a good way to get started. Uh, Jan or Tim, do you have, or Uli, do you have other guidance that you'd like to give? I think um, looking at the existing Jenkins issues as well. Um, oh, right. They might be kind of small priority, but still important issues that have arisen. Um, or they might have existed for, for years, for example, that no one's had the time to actually could get around to doing it, but, you know, was a uh, hop on them. And uh, I saw it. And yeah. another point is to look at things which you are interested in so because i'm interested in build results i'm just changing the user interface of build results and if you are interested for instance in changing nodes or something like that then focus on that theme because Jenkins is so big you can't yeah work everywhere so you need to pick your topic and the best thing is to pick the topic you're really interested in so what is the most thing what you're interested in Jenkins so Maybe that's a good point to look and at this, at this topic and look into the issues for this topic and don't look at everything because it's just too big. <laughs> uh, so I took up an issue in the design library plugin. I, it's a old issue, but when I started working on it, I found that there are many things I do not understand. And uh, I don't know how to approach the maintainers. I have asked questions in the issue itself, but uh, I think the maintainer is busy. So where should I start and uh, how should I look for help? Have yeah, you posted in the GitHub by any chance? Yeah, it's in GitHub. Uh, no, 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 in Gitter. So sorry, Shant, I'm not sure. So in the, I assume UX SIG on the Gitter chat. Okay. Because that, that location, that location may have more people watching it than are watching a specific issue, right? When you, when a comment in a GitHub issue is like a comment in a bug report on Jira, where you may get two or three or maybe four people who are watching it whereas the chat channels we've got we have more we have more people watching them you may have a better chance of getting an answer uh, so is there any issue or topic in the ux part only which needs urgent or uh, it needs help so i can be uh, you know use Uh, or should I look for old issues on it? So I would think that, that so you, what your question was, are you, can you help on new current things or, or, or exit or older issues? And I think the idea of testing the existing issues, testing existing pull requests is certainly helpful. Um, I'm not sure that Say thinking you're going to contribute active development on current pull requests 
is probably too optimistic, right? You've got to develop some skills initially. At least that's my assumption. All right. That's so yeah, that those were my questions. Thank you so much. Mm, thanks for asking. Thank you very much. Insights from others or suggestions from others. Do we still have labels uh, in Jira? So I think if we look for a user interface or user experience or UX in Jira, we will have a lot of issues where someone can start with. So I'm not sure if we have uh, a link somewhere with these labels, but not. Yeah, I think I can click it now and share it later here in the chat. Yeah, so certainly we've got the we've got the good first issue label. And and there are other issues that are related to UX could also yeah, issues in the design library. I think Sayantan, you had already said that you looked at the issues in the design library. So that's a that's certainly a good place to see are there ways to get oriented there. So are the components in the design library uh, the latest components used by Jen Jenkins? They are the they are the preferred components used by Jenkins. Jan, is that a safe way to say it? Saying that they're latest, Jenkins is 18 years of, of software development, and there are things that are popular that are not that are frequently used that are not latest. Design library is intended to be a view of how things should be and how we want them to be and what the what the preferred approach is. So actually one one technique might be looking at the techniques used in the design library, attempt to apply those techniques to some of the some of the older components, thinking of the Git plugin as an example, thinking of some others where they aren't using um, the good practices that are highlighted in the design library, they need to be updated to use those good practices. I guess now, now I'm going to ask when Jan, Jan and Uli and Tim, I've got some groovy code sitting in the Git plugin that I would love to get rid of from its UI and have it replaced with Jelly. Is that something that would be good for someone like Sayantan to take on? Or is that too exotic and no, don't, don't, could, okay, Tim's flinching. Tim, I see the flinch. That's good. Okay. So <laughs> it's something you could try. It's not, it should be able to, especially if you've got example pull requests where people have changed it before would be a good starting point. It depends how groovy it is though. It depends how much groovyisms you've done. And, and I didn't write it. So, so I can't predict how, yeah. All right, so maybe not. So Santa, I'm I'm pulling back from that one. You should ignore what I just said. Please don't don't heed what I just said. Well, and I don't know the complexity of the accessibility work that I know Christina has been highlighting, but that might be a topic as well uh, oh. related to UX. That might be one that yeah. That, okay, that's hadn't hadn't considered that one. There you might. We might let me see if I can have Sayantan if you're interested, I and see if Christine is interested in working with you on that one. That's certainly one that she's interested in. And it, it is an area that I don't think there's a lot of interest from others nearly as passionately about it as, as some of the things that we've got in other places in the Jenkins UI. And if you're just interested in CSS or things like that, you can have a look at the dark theme plugin and see yeah, how if every page already works with this uh, plugin. Because, for instance, my tables are not working in the dark theme plugin. So maybe that's something you can have without Jelly and just with plain CSS. How can we make all themes work for every element in Jenkins? So this is a totally different topic. Plain CSS seems a good place to start. Good. And I pasted a link in the chat uh, where we can have some 
issues or where you find the issues in Jenkins Jira with which are relevant with user interface. Okay, so let me put, I'm going to put, embed that link here, Uli, because, oops, wrong one, because I'm a, a Jira admin, I'm actually not going to open that page live on the screen. I never know what, uh, nope, I'll have to paste it later, apparently, I don't know how to do copy and paste. Thank you, though. Any other topics that we need to discuss today? Mm, yeah, I have two questions uh, or one question, uh, which I'm wondering um, if, if what we are doing with this topic. So can you show a one Jenkins instance, Mark, just to... I sure can. Just our CI dot your wiki, that's fine. Um, one thing that uh, which is required for my plugins to get a, a one page screen where I can view everything in one page and and currently we have this uh, footer and and somehow this footer uh, is a, a some kind of overlay so I'm wondering how we can make it that I can have a screen page right maybe this is the wrong page maybe some detail page so can just click into a project and open some yeah okay it's, normally this page is a, a little bit longer so you need to scroll okay so let's look at one that's really long because i've got plenty of those like this one right okay that here nice. so let's look at this one. Oh, except if it's down Oh, no. Okay, it's here. Good. Patience. It's so big, it needs a lot of time. <laughs> uh, CI.Jenkins.io is very busy right now. We we piled a thousand plus jobs into its queue yesterday, and it's still recovering. So I may have to go here. Let's go to a different one. We'll look at my personal server. Okay, so let's look here, here, and maybe we look here here and you want maybe we want to see something that has interesting results like this yes yes that and here okay. we see the the footer is a, is gone it's just somewhere in the nirvana so what i would like to have is this footer stay always on top so i can have the page on the yeah where the build is this page should actually only scroll and not the footer so i'm not sure why is our footer scrolling what is the reason behind this is this just historic reason or has this some meaning that our footer is scrolling away see for me i would i personally at least prefer that the footer stays off my screen most of the time so i guess i've got a different view than you do Uli. I, i'm not sure what others position is but okay. i don't like it when footers stick to the bottom particularly when all they've got in them is a little bit of version information and a link to the rest api for me that's that's real estate that I've sacrificed by not, yeah. by if it stays on screen. Yeah, I think that the main problem is that we are scrolling the left side, the side panel is also scrolling. So in, in my ideal world, <laughs> the side panel would stay without scrolling and scrolling would be only this page where the build information is. But maybe, yeah, I have a different opinion. That's okay. <laughs> So uh, what I try to do is to create my results so that you don't have to scroll the results. So scrolling is something which I don't like at all. So what I would like to have is uh, one page where you can see everything in your page. And in order to achieve that, I need to have a fixed size of the screen. For instance, here, I what I wanted to achieve is to to have this page fill the full screen that is available, but not more. So currently it's some, you know, some tricks that it is, yeah, not really scrolling, but you see it, it's currently scrolling, but I don't want to scroll. So is this something we are gonna or want to have, or is this just re relevant for my views and I need to make a, an extra way on my plugins? 
So I don't know what others think. So, so your goal here is to stay above the what I'm used to calling the fold, so that I don't have to scroll downward, right? So you yeah. you want to keep as much information as possible above the fold, particularly the most important information above the fold. But you don't know where the fold is. Is that is the reality? Yeah. Is for instance, if I click on the file coverage, then you see the files just on the top, mm -hmm. file. like that. Yes. And now this, I want that this part is filling 100% of the screen and not more. So how can I achieve that? This is uh, really annoying that I need to scroll. I don't want to scroll because the table itself will populate yeah, how many columns or rows are available. The table will grow at that size. But now I have this scroll bar and I want to get rid of this scroll bar. But this is not possible yet. So I'm wondering if we should try to achieve that, or if we, yeah, if you, if you, nobody wants it, it's okay. <laughs> then I need to look how I can make it in my plugins. But I think in general, these pages should not scroll. <laughs> I'm not so, sure. so right now, what you're saying, I think, is that the the height of this table that we see um the one that's that's coverage of all files is yeah. determined by a, a guess rather than by the explicit geometry of my my browser window yes and if i use the browser window i get in conflict with the footer because the footer is some kind of overlay that is yeah not calculated correctly Well, so, and, and, but in an ideal okay. world, I would like to have a page, and my page, I would like to say, a fill 100% of the remaining space. But that's not possible, and that's a little bit disappointing. Well, but it's but isn't isn't the message that you don't want to fill 100% of the vertical space because the menu over here has caused the vertical space to extend beyond below the fold. Right. So I yes, thought you were this is a different or oh, another problem. So first of all, I would like to have the sidebar have a different scrolling than the rest. So currently the sidebar is uh, locked with the content, which makes no sense in my way. So when every other application has a fixed sidebar, which crawls only the sidebar and not the content. And we are having one scroll bar for sidebar and for content, which makes no sense for me. So yeah, normally think. the sidebar is a page or a sub page. I don't know how you call it uh, technically. And normally you scroll the sidebar without scrolling the rest. So yeah. See. So so I think I think the thing you're describing is sort of like we see here, where on this page, on one of these pages, for instance the oh i need a, a long page yeah but this is the same pro yeah yes okay, yes exactly so right, this is right. something i would like to have in jenkins have yeah scroll, the left part different from the content okay because yeah, I, currently the size of my view depends on the size of the side panel and that makes no sense I would like to compute the size of my view based on the browser window. And currently it's the size of the whole screen, including the side panel links. And if you, when you have more links, my page will get bigger. And if you have less links, my page will get smaller. And that is some kind of disappointing. So, yeah, I'm not sure how others think about that. And I have no CSS skills to change that. So I'm not sure how to proceed with this problem. There are some pages that, that have that sticky sidebar. Um, oh, right, the, right. The plugin manager does. Uh, yeah. the configure Jenkins yes I tried that, oh, that was and then I had the problem that the the footer uh did 
yeah that when i take 100 percent of my view then the footer overlays my page so mm -hmm. maybe and that's how I, how we come again to the footer somehow the footer is um, not working as expected so it counts as pixels in when i take 100 percent the footer somehow overlays my screen and that looks a little bit diff uh, strange so, would, would it be worth the concept of not having of being able to ask that the footer not be rendered on a particular panel or is that is that flawed is that a bad choice yeah currently the footer is the, the place where we have the rest api mm -hmm. um i'm not sure um, this is something people need <laughs> at least in my plugins but maybe the food is the wrong place for the rest API. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So even here uh, on this page, um, yeah. Can you scroll just a moment? Yeah. He, he, why is the menu on the left scrolling away? This makes no sense for me here. So when you are scrolling the plugins, the menu, the side panel is scrolling away. This makes no sense for me. This is a bad user experience, I think. So the menu should stay at the place and just the content should scroll. I think on this page there is, it was supposed to be like that, but there's a bug that's, uh, that's broken. That's out. a bug, okay. Um, well, or it may just be that I'm too out of date, Jan, because this is 387.2 release candidate, right? So this is not current weekly. I think it made it in ages ago. Oh, it did. Um, okay. If you go to like a job configuration, um, okay, so you should see the sticky sidebar there. Let's look at, let's see, are you okay with a pipeline job? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if you scroll. Oh, right, right. right. There yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, which, which really means we've got we've got the tooling and the concept for sticky sidebar. We really do. It just yeah. is a matter of getting it more widely, more widespread in, in Jenkins because the concept is already here and implemented for, mm -hmm. for job, job editing, for job configuration. Yeah. But uh, let's say uh, when I meet, or I presented it, I think it, it was in two meetings ago, when I am trying to make the, where these places where general is, where the description is, when I want to have this part 100% of the screen, then it is from general, including the save and apply buttons. But I want to have it 100% without the save and apply buttons, because otherwise the, the 20 pixels at the end are away. So the footer, on, on safe and applies the wrong thing the footer at the, the bottom it counts into my hundred percent I and I want to count it not in my hundred percent so I'm not sure I can say okay let's say my page is only 90 percent but it would be simpler if I can say it's 100 percent at least most other UX frameworks work in this way that I can have 100 percent of the page and the rest fill the space that is remaining. Okay. I think I prepare a pull request with my plugin and then we can see if we can fix that with the footer somehow mm -hmm. in core. Okay. I think um, the, 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 the Jenkins kind of redesign prototype had something similar to what you were after. Yeah. Um, so just to see how that feels, I think for the rest for actual Jenkins to see if it kind of feels mm -hmm. right. Um, but I I do agree. Um, I think the sidebar should persist when it can. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Uli. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Anything else for discussion today?
All right. Then I'd propose we call an end for today. Thanks very much, everyone, for being here. Thank you very much for your, your time and your efforts. Thank you. Yeah.